Hello there, and welcome back to Accent to Gaming. Today, we're going to be doing lots and lots of farming. <laughs> I need the money, so it has to be done. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me today. If you're excited for some farming, please consider leaving a like and hit that subscribe button down below and join the band. We'd love to have you. So yeah, don't want to waste your time, so let's get into it. So the first thing I want to go over today while we get through this grind and I don't know how much actual farming I'm going to get done today. Uh, I was thinking that I want to try to get uh, another stack of sugarcane to sell to kind of add to the bank. But we'll see where it goes. But I wanted to talk about the channel name. <laughs> so uh, I know when I told it to some people, they thought, so like, are you going to talk in an accent? And it's like, no, no, that's that's not what it's referring to. Um, even though I might have an accent to, to some of you because I'm Canadian, but it, it's music related. So like an accented note, because, uh, in my past, I played a lot of drums. I played drums for, uh, pipe bands. I even played bagpipes in the past as well. And that's kind of where I got the inspiration for it. So that's why when I ask you to subscribe, I say, Hey, come join the band. Uh, and that's kind of what we're going with. Now, if you watch the live stream. Uh, you would have seen, I would have talked about the name. <laughs> because if you see my pet behind me, you'll see that it has a different name. Because I was playing with channel names. And I didn't know that Mojang restricts how often you can actually change your profile name. So I'm stuck with this uh, for 30 days. So if you see a different name on my pet, that's why I don't have any alts or anything. Um, well, I do have a couple alts. I have one kind of AFKing in a pool right now, just in case if I have to leave the island and I want things to grow. But yeah, that's... Uh, I gotta wait 30 days. <laughs> I wish... I should have read it. It clearly tells you I was just being an idiot. Uh, so that's, that's just the way it is. The next thing I wanted to talk about was... Well, I wanted to thank you guys. The, the channel's getting a lot more support than I thought it would get right off the hop. And I know like 30 views or whatever isn't isn't huge, but it's huge to me. Um, I honestly thought I would get like maybe one view uh, if it popped up on some sort of recommended and someone, you know, kind of clicked it because they were curious. So seeing that much uh, really made me happy. And, and hopefully these kind of videos uh, are useful for you guys. Something to kind of put on the, the side monitor while you do the exact thing that I'm doing here. Um, and I do have some plans, so I'm going to be doing some tutorials and guides here soon. And, you know, I have a lot of side content, like the discussion I did about Skyblock uh, selling coins. Because I think that's a really important discussion. I, I don't see a lot of talk about it online. I see a couple, like, forum threads and some things on Reddit and a little bit of tweets. But I really don't think people are taking it that seriously which concerns me a little because i think it's going to change the game quite a bit and it's going to upset a lot of people if they put it through the form it's going to be on fire i know that for sure uh but we're just gonna have to wait and see i guess i, I was just hoping that we can open up more dialogue for that because i love this game and i don't want to see a crash um you know i've been loving the grind lately uh in Hypixel Skyblock isn't the only game I play, but it's one of the main ones. <laughs> and the channel's going to have a couple different things on it. So I'm going to have the guides and tutorials and things like that. But I'm also thinking about um, starting different game series. So I'm thinking about a mod pack uh, series because I've never done mod packs with Minecraft. Um, and I think it'd be interested for me to get in there and see if I can make my way through. There's so many experts on those mod packs and I've never really played with any of those mods. So I think that would be fun. Um, and I also want to upload some non Minecraft stuff. So there's certain games I've been playing that I really enjoy and would love to make a series on as well. Uh, and like, uh, the game I'm playing right now is satisfactory. I don't know if you heard of this, but uh, some people are saying like, oh, it's like the adult Minecraft. Well, Number one, M Minecraft isn't just for kids. This game is fun. I don't care what age you are. But number two, it's it's not it's not that right. You can't build your world, but you can make sweet factories, and <laughs> it kind of makes you strive for efficiency, which I like. I'm terrible at it, um, but I think I could learn. I think I could get better at it. So I might upload something like that as well. 
but kind of the main series of this channel will be high pixel skyblock as i try to kind of progress through this game so the first goal that we're going to do is i want to get 10 million coins in the bank number one to say i did <laughs> number two so i can get that bank upgrade and the issue is is i'm kind of in this waiting period in the game because the the fisher minions up there you gotta let them go and i have a hard time doing that i just want to go in every day and grab their stuff and, and do something with it but i'm trying to be patient i'm trying to let them go a couple days maybe a week i know people usually say a week and i'm super glad by the way that i got uh like large chests like large minion chests for them because i just checked it and they need it <laughs> maybe it won't be as bad once they're tier 11 but they need it right now if you want to let them run so i feel a little justified getting those uh it was more i just wanted them because it's you know it's the final version of that upgrade i wanted it <laughs> So I spent a lot of money and time on it. So I'm glad I'm, you know, getting some dividends from that. So that's that's always nice. So I'm going to do the pumpkin slash little bit melon farm I have on the top here. And then I'm going to get into the sugar cane. Once I'm done the sugar cane, uh, I'm going to do the small farms I have around. So like cocoa beam and uh, nether wart. And we're going to see from there. So I do have like an alt uh, sitting in the pool. And, you know, I have to wait for the sugar king to grow because I only have two layers at the moment. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on sugar cane farms here soon, so that will give me an excuse to build the third one. But for now, I have to wait for it to grow. So I might go do some fishing while that's happening. It just kind of depends. We'll see how far we get today. So, yeah, I have a lot of ideas for the channel and a lot of games that I do want to play. And hopefully there will be games that you guys want to play with me as well. So we'll see how that goes. But a lot of games... I don't know about you guys, but with me, a lot of games don't like grab my attention and hold it. it. It usually takes a lot for a game to kind of get me to sink in. But when it does, I sink right in. <laughs> so a lot of games I'll start up on Steam, play for like five, ten minutes. I'm like, eh, I'm not feeling it. And that's it. But then there's some games like this game where I loaded it up, started kind of blinked and seven hours had passed and i'm like whoa whoa i have i have things i need to do <laughs> so you have to find that balance um and i find that the games i really get into are grindy games and i don't know what it is i just like the the feeling of accomplishment when you you know you put the time in and you get that reward this game definitely scratches that itch and there's a lot of other games that do that and i find a hard time finding single player games because I, I like the feeling of community and natural competition but some games definitely do that like uh like i was speaking about earlier satisfactory um that's not online yeah you can play with a friend but it's super glitchy it's still in kind of like beta uh but it's you know you can play with that play that with a friend but it's mostly single player and even though it's just single player it's still super fun I think how I would describe it would be like an idle game <laughs> mixed with like a base building game because there's a lot of idle there. You have to build these factories and let resources come in and build and, you know, put them in storage containers and kind of have to let that go. But there's such a great feeling of progression in that game and I love it. So I'll probably, you know, upload some videos. I wanted to restart anyways because like... I'll be honest with you here, guys. I died <laughs> super far away. And I just, I was like, you know what? I don't feel like running back to that corpse. And I need an excuse to start a series anyways. So here we go. I'm going to restart. <laughs> so hopefully I'll have something on the channel for that soon. And then I want to also play a mod pack for Minecraft. Because like I said, I've never, never done it before. I just don't know which one I want to play. I think Sky Factory is pretty popular right now, but I'm not really concerned with popularity. I'm kind of concerned with like, what am I going to have fun with? So I've been watching videos on it. It does seem super fun, uh, but I want to watch some other videos to make sure I'm not missing out, um, which will take some time for me to figure out which one I want to, you know, this is the one I'm doing. Let's sink some time into it. Uh, Cause I think there's one called Stone Block that looked pretty interesting. Uh, Sky Victory looked pretty interesting. Uh, there's RL Craft, but that one seems pretty intense. But you never know. 
Uh, the problem is, is that I think it has a pretty aggressive shader on it. I think you can play without it, but I think you're you're supposed to play with it. And shaders just don't play with my computer well, guys. It just tanks my FPS. Um, I think there has to be a reason for that, because like I don't have I don't have the best computer in the world. Uh, not you know, uh, it's a twenty six hundred X for the processor and a ten seventy Ti for the GPU, and those are pretty good, uh, I think. So it's kind of worrying that I get like 30 FPS when I put on a, a shader. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on there. I'll have to do some research when I get some time. All right, now it's time for that good old sugar cane. This is where we'll get most of our money. And hopefully I can, you know, save up a little bit more. Um, I've kind of been just letting interest go in the bank at the moment because I think I have about 5 mil in there. Uh, and I really want to get that to 10 mil because I I have a hard time holding on to money, man. Uh, I spend it on useless stuff too. Well, not always. You know, I, I like dumping into minion upgrades or things like that. But I need to save it. I need to hold on to it. So I'm going to try to go for that 10 mil so I can get the bank upgrade. And then we'll kind of decide there where we're going to put that money. If I'm being honest with you, it's probably going into the fish and minions, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, something else might catch my eye. But, you know, I got to do this farming, and then I got to get back into fishing, man. I got to get the fishing level up. Um, and, you know, I got the squid pet. It's only uncommon at the moment, but I, I need to level that guy up. And I'm hoping to use the fishing minions to level that up as well. I felt really bad because I let the fish minions go uh, once for like four days and then I couldn't <laughs> help myself anymore. I took them out, but I didn't have the, the squid pet out, man. I lost all that free pet experience. I was so mad at myself. I think I had the elephant out at that time. It uh, wasn't, wasn't good. Wasn't good. I'm hoping to get the elephant pet to 100 uh, relatively soon so I can level him up. So I really want his legendary variant. Now that's going to take... Might not even be worth it by the time I can actually get him there, but, you know, gotta, gotta work towards something, right? Gotta work towards something. So yeah, I would love to hear from you guys to see what else you would like to see specifically in this series. Um, you're gonna get the first time experience with me. <laughs> there, like I said, there's so much in this game I haven't done yet. I really don't know anything about Slayers. I did some Red Slayer, I believe. Uh, and I did a little bit of wolf to get the phone because as soon as I found out, hey, you got to go in that basement every time. I was like, no, 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 there has to be a better way. And I found out about the bat phone, so I, I grinded towards that. But I can't do high level slayers. Uh, I get wrecked. So I got to do some research to figure that out and maybe start optimizing towards that. I really would like to complete the Romeo quest line. I want a legendary talisman. That's what I want. But that's so expensive. Y you need... Like, I got most of the stuff, right? I I, uh, I left emerald minions down so I can get an emerald blade because I know that's part of the quest. And I need to go get the crystal armor, I think it's called. And I don't know how expensive that is, but I'm guessing it's pretty expensive. <laughs> and then you need a flower minion... That's like 6 mil. Like the tux, yeah, the tux is expensive. It's like 3 mil. But like you're not getting a flower minion out of that dark auction without everyone just bidding the ever-living crap out of it, right? So you got to go in expecting to spend 6 to 7 mil. And that's a lot of money to me. <laughs> it takes this long for me to get up to 10 mil because uh, I haven't got pretty late in the game where hopefully I can start different money-making strategies. But uh, so it's a little brutal. <laughs> <laughs> but I want that and and I want to go towards the camp batch as well but that one's even more difficult I think you need a massive armor and other some other crazy stuff I would like to get into dungeons as well but you know from what I've seen with dungeons I am not geared enough for that I gotta I gotta get a little bit closer to the end game when it comes to weapons um, you know Making sure everything is set up properly, and armor, before I don't bring my team down, right? Like, that's that's my main concern. I don't want to get into these groups and I be the weakest link. 
uh, and I kind of ruined their run because that's kind of what happened when they first came out because I was super excited. I was like, yeah, let's get in there. And I, I decided to do healer and I was just, I was useless, man. I was running around, you know, trying to figure out how to heal people and stuff like that. But I didn't really have really great armor or a lot of health at that time. Since then, I've done a lot of fairy souls. I still need to complete those. But yeah, I was just getting like one tapped by creatures and uh, I didn't feel good about it. <laughs> I hate, I hate wasting other people's time is the biggest thing for me. I don't like to be that person that kind of, because I don't know, man, you, you might only have like an hour to play, right? Uh, I don't know what your life's like. You might get home, you have to you know, put the kids to bed, you know, just have a quick bite to eat. And you're like, you know what? I've had a long day. I just want to relax and, you know, go play some dungeons. I've been waiting for these. And then you get me and your, <laughs> your team and I just ruin the whole thing and you got to go to bed unsatisfied and, you're like, oh my god, I'm so frustrated. I don't want to give that experience to other people. So I want to make sure I'm prepared before I go in there. So I had a question as well for some of the early game players. So, well, maybe you guys would have their perspective on it. Uh, maybe some mid-game or late-game players. If, if, you were, if you were starting back out, if someone gave you something to help you along what would have been the most useful thing is i have these things up above um that i like to give away and here let me show you what those are like right now all right yeah so i have these small backpacks here i make the small backpacks and then i fill them with goodies and i like to give these to normal players and, and i kind of do this um in private um, I don't stream this or anything like that because I don't the new rules with high pixel sky block and giving things away is a little weird at the moment and I don't want to get the other person in trouble I don't want to get in trouble myself but that's not going to stop me from wanting to give back because if you watch the first video you'll know that someone helped me a lot <laughs> when I started out so I want to make sure you know I keep that going you know I, I give it forward so this pack it doesn't have like anything amazing in it but like i try to stick to things i can make because i don't want to buy things in bulk from other players because those things could be duped or that person could be boosted and then again it could get everyone connected in trouble and i don't want that to happen so it just has some hardened diamond armor unenchanted because i don't have that many levels uh, a silver fang a haste three potion to help them with either mining or forging a grappling hook because it is a sin to play this game without a grappling hook and uh, I make these magnetic talismans uh, for a couple reasons one they're really useful because of the pickup range but two they're uncommon so you get a little bit better of a reforge and I reforge them for them uh, with strength to kind of help them out and I just put them into these little packs I have some left over at the moment and I like to just go to like the mine or what have you to give them out. So I want to know, could I make those better? Is there something I could put in the packs that would really help? I've been trying to like remember when I started, but again, uh, I was really lucky when I started. So I don't really have the proper perspective that uh, a lot of like new players coming to the game would have. So I want to know what I could put in there. That's reasonable, right? I'm not rich. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to give like nice little starter packs to be able to give out to the people just starting out because the mines, man, mines are brutal when you're starting out. Uh, even when I had money because I didn't want to spend it all on like armor and weapons, I think I like uh, tried to get a really enchanted silver fang, and that's what I first bought before I went into the aspect of the end. And then the aspect of the end got nerfed. <laughs> <laughs> right when i purchased it um which made fairy souls even harder to get so yay <laughs> but yeah i just want to know is there something in there that i could give to a new player that would really help them out kind of smooth out their experience i'm open to any feedback for that all right so we're done this now if you <laughs> if you watch the stream uh, you know that I don't have any system whatsoever to get down to the second layer. I need to, I just need to take the time to do it. But currently, 
I'm going to use my uh, trusty AOTE and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how I do it for now. Uh, it's worked so far, so I haven't had the, uh, mo oh no. <sighs> oh wait, I can fly. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. There we go. Well, let's start this one here. And I'm not the most efficient at doing these. However, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the small farms. Uh, I'm going to try to like roughly figure out how long that took me uh, for someone that's kind of slow at doing them. And then I'm going to show you how much I made. Everything other than, I'll show you the total price, but I'm going to put the cocoa beans away. I'm not selling those. <laughs> I'm saving them up for another replenish book because I put the first replenish book on the axe because the axe is used for cocoa beans. So that kind of just made sense. It allows me to kind of go towards the second book. Then I'm going to put the second one on the rookie hoe. And that will set me up to make the multi farm down below. Um, I don't know about the design for the multi farm yet. First, you know, baby steps. We got to do the third layer of sugarcane first, um, which I'll make the video about, like I said. And then I'm going to make a video about that multi farm. Don't know if it's even smart to do that. Yeah, you could build a layer for each one, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. Yes, I do recommend that you build these farms. They're, you know, put the time in and then you have a constant source of cash. But once you do a couple of them, you don't want to do them anymore. And I have so much respect for people that can make those huge, like nine layer farms, like props to you man you got some mental fortitude because <laughs> i i like grinds but man i can't do that much i don't think for farms so i think i'm gonna cheat a little just a little uh, and make a, a multi-farm that kind of has everything that i'm missing and we'll kind of go from there oh yeah and I, I haven't said in any other videos yet either but i do have a twitter and an instagram if you guys want to follow me on there now I'm going to be honest with you here. I have no idea. I kind of know about Twitter. I know a little bit about Twitter. I can, kind of, I can, I can make my way through. I know nothing about Instagram. <laughs> I made the Instagram account for two reasons. And I'm going to be fully upfront with you here about them. Number one, every research I did about YouTube and things like that said, you got to make social media, right? So you got to make Instagram. And I was like, okay. But then I realized, hey. I do have a purpose for the Instagram account. There's nothing on it yet. Inventory full. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Ah, uh, yes, right. Just quickly, some shoot, some enchanted cane there. There we go. Uh, I realized I do have a purpose for that, and that's pictures of my cat. <laughs> because I have an amazingly cute cat. Her name is Brownie, and I love her to death. She's very vocal. You will probably hear her on some of these videos at some point. I think right now she's just out sleeping or whatever but i'm gonna post pictures of her on there so it's gonna be the accent gaming instagram but it's going to be 99.9% .9 filled with pictures of my cat <laughs> so i'm gonna be uploading some of those soon my cat is funny man because she has this like face to her that she looks like she's having an existential crisis almost all the time <laughs> <laughs> and it, it sucks because you're like oh are you okay but no she's fine and you know she even looks like that when she's purring sometimes so it's just her face some cats have a kind of like you know grumpy cat and things like that she's uh, uh i've hit you know 40 45 and i don't know if i'm happy with my life on her face <laughs> but she's super cute you'll love her i know you will uh so i can't wait to get pictures of her up there because she does um She's a, a tortellini cat, or a torty as they call them, so they have like big attitudes, and she does this thing that she lays down and she like holds her paws up. Super cute, I'm telling you. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. Now, speaking about uh, video editing and photo editing, like, like I said, I don't know anything about it, but I'm really surprised how fun it is, because <laughs> uh, I'm not... I'm not an artsy person. Like, yeah, I, I have a music background, but not anything with like drawing or color or anything like that. Um, but it's really weird 
when you find joy in something that you didn't think you would find joy in, if that makes sense. Because when I started up photo editing, like I'm currently, I'm trying to make the thumbnails, right? And they're going to be a little bit mismatched because I'm still trying to figure out what I like for the template, for the words and all that crazy stuff. But I, when I, I, I think I'm using a program called Photoscape uh, for the, uh, for the actual photo editing. And I'm having a lot of fun on that. Just, tr you know, playing with the effects and trying to get things the way I like it. There's kind of a satisfaction when you kind of get the whole package together and you're like, yeah, I like how that looks, right? And, and you put it out. The same thing with video editing. Video editing can be tedious because, when, well, at least for me, because I don't know all the tricks of the trade yet, but uh, trying to like get the cuts just right and you don't want them to be too abrupt because uh, I hate, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but I hate like multiple abrupt cuts. Like, I I think I understand why people do it for voice. I don't think that's going to be my style, and hopefully that doesn't annoy anyone. But I rather continuous voice than cut, than continuous voice than cut, than sentence cut, sentence cut. Because <laughs> I find that's a lot of people do that, and it's jarring to me. Um, it, it must be popular. Uh, people must like it in some way, but. In my years, I don't like it that much, so I don't think I'm going to be doing something like that. And and hopefully, you guys don't mind the odd mumble, uh, <laughs> the odd stumbling of words, because that's just natural speech, right? We we shouldn't. I don't know. Maybe maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about, <laughs> which is which is definitely possible. And maybe I'll have to kind of veer towards that a little bit to fix up audio and voice issues, but. You know, I, I, I just want it to be natural. I want it to be a conversation and something you can listen to while you're doing your farm, like I've said multiple times. But that's that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, and, and hopefully that helps some people out. So that's, that's really it. Now, the big thing I'm trying to learn with video editing is the effects. Because I'm having a hard time figuring out how to, like, make text come in. You know what I mean? So I think in the uh, the Skyblock uh, coin discussion, I just had things just pop into the frame because I just couldn't figure out. I'm using DaVinci Resolve at the moment. Um, there's a lot of tutorials online, so I just I know what I need to do. I just need to sit down, watch some more of those, and kind of figure that out. Uh, the great part is right now is that I don't have a webcam. Right, so you're you're not seeing my face or anything like that, and there's no particular reason, and I'm not trying to like hide my uh, what I look like or anything. It's just I don't have one at the moment, <laughs> so I might add that in the future. But then that adds a whole different layer to the video editing, right? Because you have to do color balance and things like that, so you don't look weird, uh, and you gotta get lighting set up and all that crazy stuff. Uh, and again, that's a whole another sphere of things that I don't know. But it would be interesting to learn how people go for that my biggest concern at the moment or what i'm kind of focusing on is audio i'm trying to get better at audio mixing i know the first video i put up was super low and i'm really sorry about that i i was trying to make it so you know when you turn on the video it didn't blast your ears because we've we've all been to those youtube channels and it's 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 terrible, right? You get, you just get wrecked, uh, especially if you have headphones on. I was trying to avoid that, but I was being too aggressive about that. So the second video, I changed the audio levels in the software. This video, uh, I've changed it in the gain in OBS before porting it over to DaVinci. So I'm trying to make it so I can have a good set volume while recording and streaming um, without having to like manually fix it. <laughs> every dive in software I'm trying to make things a little bit more efficient when i do the video editing because i don't have a lot of time in the day to to uh, do all of that um so i want to be a little bit efficient while right all righty so we're at the last line of the second layer for the sugar cane so that's all done now again i don't have any any exit so usually i drop down into the void uh, because if as long as you don't take damage and you just go into the void on your private island, you won't get points. So that's pretty useful. But I do have flight at the moment, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go up here. And you probably notice as well at the be at the end of these farms, I have this kind of weird layout of like singles, and that's just because of how 
the full width farm ends and how I started it. I think it can be avoided a little bit depending on how you build it. I don't mind this at all, um, but you don't have to put like that last line there. You can just do it here so you have guardrails for the entire thing. It's it's totally up to you. So yeah, we're going to go up here now to my little cocoa bean farm. So I have this set up simply so I can get cocoa bean to get the replenish. Um, I didn't want to build like the full thing down below where I had to replant. <laughs> and that's because that wasn't happening. That's brutal. All right, we're back. I just had to put the stuff that I got from that farm into a chest so my inventory didn't get too full. Uh, and we're going to start. Now, I had to take off my uh, farming boots for this just because you can't go too fast, I find, for cocoa beans uh, if you want to get them all. And it kind of depends on what you're doing. I like to, I put out two slabs, which I like to get right to the back of much as I can and I point kind of just at the bottom of that top one. Oh, <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> oh God. All right. And I just, I just try to do that little micro movement with my mouse. You might not see it on camera, just depending, but I kind of just up and down just tiny, tiny bits. Uh, so I get the experience, but I don't go all over the place. Cause I find a cocoa bean is just so finicky with, because if you aim straight up, you're going to miss them. I find this way, I'm able to get them all. And I've gotten a little bit faster at setting myself up for them. Uh, but you're going to miss some. You're definitely going to miss some. Uh, and that's fine. Alrighty, with the... Alrighty, now that the cocoa bean's done, just gonna check my inventory real quick. Yeah, I have some space. We're just going to quickly do this uh, nether wart here. I love this little nether war farm because I don't have to do anything to maintain it. <laughs> Replenish doesn't work with nether ward at the moment, which is a shame um, because that would just make this a lot better. Now, I don't know why Replenish doesn't work with it. Hopefully they get a fix because then you can make bigger versions of this. At the moment, I'm just relying on the crystal to kind of plant these for me. Okay, so... We got a full sweep done. So I was able to get all of my farms down below and my little farms up here done. And I really would like to see how much uh, money we can get from all that. So let me get everything in my inventory and I'll meet you guys over at the bazaar. Alrighty, so I am at the bazaar and we're going to see how much money. Now that took me just a tad bit over an hour to do all that. So let's see here. So as you can see here, I'll make from just doing all of that about 683,000 coins. Um, so 495, most of that sugarcane, as you can see here. And some of it, you know, you got the nether wart there. How much is the enchanted? That's 7,000. Uh, enchanted cocoa bean, 28,000. And I'm going to deposit all of that money. Let's do that there. Perfect. All right, let's go put this away. All right, we're at 6.4 now, boys. Perfect. So very close to the 10 mil. We're going to get there. Just It's it's not the matter of if, it's a matter of when. We are going to get there. All righty, so that's it for today. I know it wasn't a lot of farming, but we're going to be doing a lot more in the future, so that's okay. I think next time I'm going to try to do, I don't know, probably like six or eight hours of, of farming, which is going to be absolutely brutal, but we're going to make a lot of money, so it's going to be fine. <laughs> I just need to figure out how I'm going to store that much footage on my computer without filling it completely up. So that's that's going to be my project. Uh, <laughs> that'll be my homework for uh, for next time for sure. So yeah. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, please watch the other videos on the channel. Let me know what you think about them. Would really appreciate that. More is definitely going to come. So we're going to, you know, like I said during this video, we're going to probably look at playing some modded Minecraft as well, and maybe some Satisfactory. But the main focus and a lot of time is going to go into high pixel. So I truly hope that you guys will join me while I do that. So thank you very much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.